Hello all friends. Today we go to know how are dairy cows in the worldwide raised in the steps in the milk production process. M. Shabanda published Global Consumption of Fluid Milk 2020 by country on January 19, 2021. India consumed the most cow milk in the world in 2020, with over 81 million metric tons consumed. The next largest consumption of milk was in the European Union, at 33.4 million metric tons. The International Milk Production Market Cow milk production has risen slightly in the last decade, covering around 500 million metric tons per year. In 2020, the European Union produced the most cow milk. The United States came in second with 101 million metric tons produced. The states with the most milk cows are California. Worldwide annual consumption of fluid cow milk in 2020, by country, in 1,000 metric tons. Milk consumption in 1,000 metric tons, India 81,000, EU 33,400. United States 21,200, China 12,000, Brazil 11,010, Russia 7,200, Ukraine 4,550. Mexico 4,200, Japan 4,000, Canada 2,875, Australia 2,550. Argentina 1,750 South Korea 1,580 Belarus 1,075 New Zealand 525 Taiwan 476 Other 103,000 metric tons To feed her calf, a cow produces milk After giving birth, the cow must be milked or her calf must be allowed to nurse, at least twice daily, or the milk will stop flowing. Count on about 9 to 10 months of milk production, allowing the cow to rest at least 2 months before a new calf is born. Cows must calve in order to produce milk, and the lactation cycle is the time between calvings. The cycle is split into 4 phases, the early, mid and late lactation, each of about 120 days. And the dry period, which should last as long as 65 days. In an ideal world, cow calve every 12 months. There are changes in feed intake, body condition, and pregnancy stage, in addition to variations in milk production. A cow may begin producing 10 kilograms D of milk after calving. Increase to a maximum of 20 kg D around 7 weeks into lactation. By the end of lactation, the rate has gradually decreased to 5 kg D. Although her maintenance requirements will remain constant, she will require more dietary energy. And protein as milk production rises, then decreases as production falls. However, to regain body condition in late lactation, she will require additional energy. Cows typically use their own body condition to provide energy in addition to that consumed for about 12 weeks after calving. The energy released is used to produce milk, allowing them to achieve a higher peak production rate than would be possible with just their diet. To do so, the cow must have enough body condition to lose.
and therefore they must have put it on late in the previous lactation or during the dry period. There are eight steps in the milk production process. One, pasteurization. Two, homogenization. Three, centrifugal separation. Four, ultrafiltration. Five, reverse osmosis. 6. Ultraosmosis 7. Spray drying 8. Permeate Pasteurization involves heating milk to 72 degrees Celsius for no less than 15 seconds. Then quickly cooled to kill any harmful bacteria and microorganisms. This also extends the shelf life. Homogenization Milk is put under pressure through fine nozzles, which evenly disperses fat globules. This prevents the cream from separating and rising to the top, resulting in a more consistent texture and flavor. Some manufacturers produce unhomogenized milk for people who prefer the cream to separate and rise to the top of the bottle. Today's farm technology, cattle management, and factory methods enable greater milk consistency. And milk composition can be changed to achieve year-round consistency. Milk composition is standardized so that elements such as fat content remain consistent regardless of the season or breed of cow from which the milk is derived. The composition of milk is governed by the Food Standards Australia New Zealand Food Standards Code. These standards are consistent with international standards. Milk consumed in nearly all developed countries will have standards that are very similar. The code allows manufacturers to add or withdraw milk components. To standardize the composition of milk sourced from dairy farms, as required. To produce nutritionally consistent and safe products. The standard for packaged full-fat milk under the code is that it contain at least 3.2% fat and 3.0% protein. Centrifugal separation. This method removes some or all of the cream resulting in reduced fat, low fat, or skim milk. Skim milk solids can be added back in to improve the taste and texture while also adding nutrients such as protein and calcium. Ultrafiltration is the process of moving milk across a membrane under moderate pressure, which confines protein fat globules, and a significant amount of calcium complexes. Water and lactose, milk sugar, pass through, leaving a high-protein and calcium-rich product behind. The fat content can be adjusted to suit consumer preference. Reverse osmosis. This is very similar to ultrafiltration. However, the membrane prevents most of the milk solids from passing through and only allows water to pass through. Lactose remains in the product. There is no impact on flavor. Ultraosmosis is a hybrid of ultrafiltration and reverse osmosis.
However, it retains milk solids while allowing water and salt to Spray drying is a method of removing water from milk in order to produce powdered milk products. Milk's nutritional value remains the same. Permeate. Some manufacturers use a process called ultrafiltration to standardize milk all year. Where a membrane filter separates certain elements from milk, just like in the descriptions above. Milk is filtered through a fine mesh, and the lactose, milk sugar, vitamins, and minerals that pass through are referred to as permeate. Permeate is a technical term that refers to all membrane filtration processes used in food manufacturing and other industries. For example, when producing apple juice the fruit is put through a similar filtration process. Where permeate is the clear juice we end up buying and consuming. The term permeate does not refer to anything added to milk that was not previously present. That filter helps milk producers make milk with consistent properties. which helps it conform to the food standards Australia-New Zealand Food Standards Code, 